I call the member for Reid. Voice Australia helps young, diverse voices join the public, public policy-making process. Their Youth Voice in Parliament initiative invites young students to write a speech and have it read in Parliament. And this year, the theme is "Where I Want Australia to Be in 20 Years." A young woman from Reid has written of her first-hand experience of Australia's mental health system. She writes, "And I protect her privacy. She's under 18. I am 17 years old, and I go to school in the Reid electorate. Are you okay? Day has come and gone, and it has made me realise something about the country in which I live in." Everyone is all for mental health advocacy until it means having to pay for more services. It's easier to ask a question, are you OK, than to cough up extra dollars. My young constituent goes on to state that she's someone who has been in hospital several times due to suicide attempts, that the mental health system has failed so many people, and she says that every politician, regardless of party, needs to be doing more. She says she was discharged from the public mental health system when she was still at risk because her time to get better had expired. She says that they couldn't afford to treat her anymore and she felt like they'd given up. It's, she says it's people who are most disadvantaged that need mental health services, yet, that, yet they are the ones denied it. Well, I'd like to thank my young constituent for sharing her personal experience and powerful message of change, and I hope to instil hope in her as her member, as a psychologist and as the chair of the Mental Health and Suicide Prevention Committee, that I'll be able to create the change that's needed in Australia to improve our mental health system. Thank you, Mr Deputy Speaker. <laughs>